Uh, All right, we're here with the uh, <coughs> overtime questions on the Internet. What does the panel think of the poll that for the first time shows that a majority of Americans favor the legalization of marijuana? What do you think of that, Ron? Come on, Ron. You're, you're, you're about the Constitution and democracy. You just said that. If the, if the majority want it, shouldn't it happen? No, I think there's a reason why. Uh, I think there's a reason why. Oh, so we should all break the law. There's a reason why narcotics. No, they're saying change the law. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, fine. Should we change the you law? You know, if people want to change the law and they want to petition the government. Did you have... ever get high? No. Never? Never? No. Did you inhale? This is the problem. No. This is the problem. Nope. We will fix this in about yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, not gonna happen. We're in Vegas. Uh, oh, here's a good one for you. This says Bob Pular asks, why are there so few good Republican comedians? Now I ask this because I know you are a very good comedian. You yeah. get voted like the funniest, wittiest guy in DC every year, and you actually you we plug your stand up dates. Thank but you. But why are there so few Republican comedians? And it's true, there are few. I don't know. It, it, it's a good question. Uh, we do get uh, both Republicans and Democrats, congressmen and Senators to perform in D.C., but Kucinich is the best. He's a ventriloquist uh, Democrat from Cleveland. He's, he's the, quite. He's good. a ventriloquist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he looks very more like the dummy. But, <laughs> I mean, he's not a dummy, but he looks like he could. Be. He's a well, I'm not a dummy. He's a well, little elf alone. man. But, but, well, on the Republican side, um, Ed Gillespie is also oh, yeah. a very talented ventriloquist. The two of them did a routine just a couple years ago. It's good. And, and what, what, are you, what kind of material do you do? Who do you make fun of? And like, like it's so easy to be a, a liberal comedian because you can make fun of people like Michelle Bachman and Rick Perry and people who say dumb things. Um, to, uh, actually, I tend to do more family humor rather than political humor. I mean, some political stuff. Well, see, I mean, I think that answers our question. It's, it's because there's less material. <laughs> On the other oh, side, there's less of, to make fun of. Actually, I mean, it's more like shooting fish in a barrel, so it's not fun. No, it's, it's shooting fish in a barrel for me, because honestly, yeah. come on, we can have ideological differences, mm -hmm. but the people who are just knowledge challenged are yeah. almost always on the right. Fifty-seven states. Yeah, exactly. Fifty. Fifty-seven states. What's that? Oh, that's President Obama said that. And, yeah, and, and, and you're United still States. talking about it three years later. Do you really later, think Obama the thinks there are 57 have. states? All I know is he said it. Okay, but but when Herman right. Cain talks yes. about abortion and and says it absolutely should be illegal and it's up to the family, he means it. Obama just misspoke a word. Oh, Miss Obama misspoke a word. You Here, think, he misspoke a word. Do you think Obama there. really thinks there are 57 Harding states? Enough. All I know is that's what he said. Once. And you're still talking no, about it. Oh, come you're on. being no, disingenuous. No, I'm not being disingenuous. I'm asking you a no, direct a question. Call. Do you it's think that call. Obama no. thinks there are 57 states? No, he does states. not. I don't think he thinks there are 57 states. Thank I you. do think that when Republicans misspeak, you guys jump on Republicans, but the president no, always gets a free pass. But they don't misspeak, they misthink. <laughs> So again, so so he doesn't misthink. It's no. the Republicans misthink, but the president says, "Oh, the stimulus bill is going to create all these jobs. Oh, here's my program for America that's going to change employment. Oh, but those aren't misspoken statements. They didn't come out to be true." Well, now you're to borrow a Herman Cain phrase, comparing apples and no, oranges. But you know, I, I think I think <laughs> I'm we, just speaking the truth. One, one, truth one last, point. One last practice, point on this topic: when thing. you look at Mark Twain, Richard Pryor, Lenny Bruce, and others. They're wrestling with radical incongruity that has deep suspicion of dogma. If you're right wing tied to dogma, it's going to be difficult to be a great comic. Actually, right. Lenny, Br Lenny Bruce's best lines were criticisms of socialism. I mean, the Trini does making fun but of he would, but he's critical. Of he's good. critical of himself. He's yeah. critical across the board. He laughed. He was scatological, not left wing. And, and, and look, in all the wars I've well, been Well, no, to, he was progressive. He, he, wasn't, he, he wasn't a follower of tax reform that you put. He well, was quite good on uh, free market <laughs> issues. Well, where, where He's we... a libertarian. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm, I'm a libertarian, but not a follower of your organization. Oh, you're part of the tax increasing wing of the libertarian movement? Well, <laughs> no, it, it depends on which group's being taxed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tax the rich. Michael, you were about to. I should just say the word dogma always, you know, gets me yeah, going yeah, because yeah, I found yeah. that in all the wars I've been in, the greatest killer on the planet is TB. And I don't mean tuberculosis, I mean true believers of any kind. Mm. Right. Yes, yes. Oh. That's true. That's true. Uh, how does Grover feel about the fact that there are rich people 
who feel that they don't pay enough taxes. It was one thing I wanted to get yeah. to, and I ran out of I, I sent a letter to Mr. Buffett and showed him how you can write a check to the federal government. You don't have to involve anybody else. Oh, come and on. there's actually a that's, new law that's, that's been introduced. Not. No, there's a new law that's been introduced called the Tax Me More line uh, that Steve Scalise, congressman from Louisiana, has so that Warren Buffett can go in and fill but it out himself. It's not just Warren Buffett. This week it came out yeah. that a majority of millionaires in this country yeah. think they should pay more taxes. And you and know the answer isn't for them to just write a check. Of the, course, the answer is to, come on, Mimon tax has to be a law. It Ma can't. No, no, no. Maimonides had the great eight different levels of charity. The ninth, down who, below who the mall, Maimonides, the uh, Talmudic scholar from Spain, Yeah. he, he said there are different <laughs> levels of charity. I'm I'm I was checking. just thumbing through his shit yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> the, guy, the, guy the ninth the level, the, the lowest in. level. The guy is, for the perplexion. I'd love to give something, but I, I'll wait till the law gets passed. That's right. below the no, other but I think Brother Bill's point was that Brother it's not Bill. always a question of interest. Sometimes it's a matter of principle. And there are rich people who have principles that want justice, and it's not just a matter of them individually giving their money. I think that's what he was The doing. other is they're, they're allowed to do that if they want. Pushing other people around you're is a different issue. Star, you <laughs> Would you trust a... <laughs> you know, I Carly got, once I said... <laughs> I want to be on a cane campaign. I want to light up. Oh. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy is... Shell shock. You know, it's. it's, it's a, I have a mental disorder. I know. It, that's. It's, <laughs> but you know what? You're. But we still love you. Self diagnosed. Would you trust a Mormon president? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we save on tricks. I'm just saying. <laughs> Would you trust a Mormon president <laughs> less than, say, a Protestant or a Catholic president, or would you put them all in the same category? <sighs> you Depends know, on you, which one. Depends on which one. Well, I think what they're saying is, you know, Mormons. True believers. Yeah. No, but they're prophetic Mormons. They're reactionary Mormons. I mean, you know, anti-Mormon prejudice is as evil as any other prejudice. It depends on which Mormon it is. Yeah. Depends on what Christian, which atheist, which agnostic, which Jewish, yeah. which, which Buddhist, I, I, which Hindu. Everyone is Hindus. an absolutist. That's right. They you got to give them a chance. I, I'm, 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 actually, oh. I'm actually very cool with the Mormons because yeah. they have shown their ability, especially Mitt Romney, to do a 180 on anything they believe for oh. five minutes away. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, this was a religion that was founded on the idea of polygamy, but when they wanted to be a state, Utah in 1890, they went, fuck it. Yeah, it was it a came from God, right, it it's direct from heaven, no, it's written in stone. It was a religion that would, and it was a religion that wouldn't ordain black people until, what was it, 1978? Oh, yes, I black think? people were that's, evil. That's, there's, there's elements of America go beyond Mormonism in terms of that yeah, kind yeah, of racism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, but, yeah. it, but also it was, it was done at gunpoint. I mean, Mormons have been a persecuted people who were run from state to state to state to state with the federal... Yeah, there's a, reason, well, there's a reason well, they, they ended up in Utah. They yes, started indeed. in New York. That's right. And they yeah, were chased by guys with guns out to Utah. Because their yeah. leader was a fucking crook. <laughs> because he but would... Brother Bill, they got crooks that's... running around the country in every corner. You're not hunting them Are down you... with the federal army, man. Yeah. Well, Bernie, he, 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 yeah, that's not, that's, <laughs> not, that's not why he's he, 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 he was, he, but, but, Joseph Smith, was, Joseph Smith was, Joseph Smith was the, back, come on back, brother. He was the Bernie Madoff of his day. It, it would be as if Bernie, no, no, yes, no. he was. No. Absolutely. But his, wasn't his no. conviction he, for fraud no. and all that sort of thing prior to his finding the gold of tablet? Of course. He had a scam. A he would tell people that if you paid him, he could see through the stones and discover where the gold was on your land, okay? That's why they kept chasing him, because he kept robbing people. It was, if, it was if, as if Bertie Madoff did that and Feel got chased cold. to Utah and then created Murdoff, uh, Madoff State. He no, made... but, but you don't have a Madoff community that was willing to follow him to Utah because of the leadership he was exercising. Joseph Smith was involved in a whole host of claims that we can I, call into question. I but he's with it. his community, yeah. he's yeah. struggling with them, and he's willing to be persecuted, and he was assassinated. No, he really Doc. was a straight-up con man. He was but, a straight-up yeah. con man, Doc. <laughs> I, I mean, I, no, why, why, are you, why, are you, why are you defending this con man? 
because there's a con man element to every tradition that I know of. But True. Again, right, if you're but talking about religion, yes. Level. And he was, he, but 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 it's not reducible just to that. But it's not like Jesus had a Ponzi scheme, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 not like it's not like Buddha was selling timeshares. I mean, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> well done, darling. Well done. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We gotta go get the panel high. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you